Hey guys, Nerion here. Today there's a bunch of huge Star Wars news to go over. From reports of President of Lucasfilm Kathleen Kennedy stepping down after causing the company multiple big financial losses, to Disney stepping in and making a big overhaul of the future of the entire franchise, which includes them cancelling previously announced movies and Star Wars shows. As it turns out, the cancellation of the Acolyte Season 2 was only the beginning. We have a lot of important developments to cover today, so let's get into them. Starting out with Kathleen Kennedy being ready to retire and thus step down as president of Lucasfilm any time now. Her contract with Disney officially ends in October, but she's looking for one more win before she actually retires. The fact that she's waiting for a win before she retires, instead of retiring immediately, is just yet another showcase of how Lucasfilm, and thus the Star Wars franchise, are in the wrong hands. It's very obvious that Star Wars is going downhill currently, with massive critical and financial failures, one after the other and this mostly due to her leadership. So when the franchise is suffering and the company is taking huge financial damage and damage to the reputation and the fans are continuously complaining about Kennedy, why isn't she stepping down? It's because she's way too selfish and narcissistic. She doesn't see their flops as her fault, even though she has control over all creative decisions. She instead keeps blaming fans for why certain projects, like the Acolyte, failed. Labeling fans and critics as sexists or racists. Something that's not helping her reputation or the company at all. Usually that backfires. And that attitude got Star Wars to the point it's at right now. But she isn't stepping down because she's selfish. She cares less about the company or the franchise and more about her own pockets. She wants to retire on a win, cause obviously it would look better on paper if she left the company after it saw massive success with one of her projects, instead of leaving it after a failure, cause that would make it look like she's fleeing the damage she caused. Her contract with Disney is running out in October of this year, so she can decide whether she will simply leave once it runs out, or whether she will enter discussions on renewing it, which would mean another couple of years of her controlling Star Wars. Yet as those reports state, she wants to retire but is waiting on a win. And that quote unquote win hasn't come yet. It's been loss after loss after loss, especially those last couple of years. She's been president since 2012, when George Lucas sold the company to Disney, meaning she's been in control of the entire Star Wars franchise for 12 years now. And what has she done with it in that time as president? Most fans would agree that the majority of things that came out of the company since then were underwhelming, some of them even ruining the franchise. The sequel trilogy was a train wreck, especially episodes 8 and 9, which are not just terrible as movies, but also ruined the previously established lore of Star Wars. In rankings of the movies, 8 and 9 are usually at the very bottom of the list. Many fans like to pretend those movies don't even exist and have started petitions to get that trilogy retconned, trying to get those movies removed from the Star Wars canon, cause they were an unnecessary continuation that ruined the previously perfectly concluded franchise. But did Kathleen Kennedy care about that? No, she was the one who gave those movies into production after all. And even after the vast majority of the community rejected them, Kennedy didn't care. Instead of moving away from those movies, she announced that we'll be getting more of them, with a new movie featuring Rey, the most hated Star Wars character of all time in the main role. Directed by a filmmaker whose career mostly consists of making documentaries on feminism. Sounds like the perfect person to hire for a franchise its fanbase consists of mostly men. So instead of changing course for the future, Kathleen Kennedy instead decided to double down on the current one. That's not really the smartest thing to do, and it's something Something that speaks of bad leadership. She wants those movies made, so she orders them to be made. But she shouldn't do that. No CEO should insist on taking the company into one direction if the entire audience wants it to go the other direction. Those movies take a lot of time and work, and cost hundreds of millions of dollars to produce, only to then flop in the end. Instead of spending all of that on projects that fans actually want and that people have been asking for for a long time, and that would actually turn a profit. Like for example, the Old Republic era of Star Wars. It's a fan favorite for a reason, and there are so many characters and stories to tell in that era, with countless possibilities for movies and shows. And yet, despite the fact that the fans want it, we are not getting that because Kennedy for some reason isn't a fan of it, and rather wants to explore the sequel trilogy era of Star Wars. Although, Disney higher ups don't always seem to agree with her decisions or her plans on where she wants to take the franchise. 
And yet again, there are new reports that the announced Star Wars movie that was being created by Taika Waititi has been cancelled. Disney allegedly didn't want to trust him again after the disappointment that Thor Love and Thunder turned out to be. That goes on to show that Kathleen Kennedy doesn't have a full say on everything. Disney can still step in and stop whatever she's planning. And especially with failures in recent time mounting, Disney had to repeatedly step in and stop her from causing more financial damage. One big headline recently was the cancellation of season 2 of Star Wars The Acolyte, the worst Star Wars show ever, ordered into production by Kathleen Kennedy with a massive $180 million budget, making it also the most expensive Star Wars show ever, only to crash and burn. And yet, Kennedy didn't see a problem with the quality and even told the showrunner Leslie Hedlund that she wrote a great Star Wars show, yet again proving that what Kathleen Kennedy wants to see and what the fans want to see couldn't be more different. Disney has to step in and stop this woman, replace her with a new CEO. It can't get much worse than this. I thought the Acolyte was even worse than the sequel trilogy, something I didn't believe was possible. And yet Kathleen Kennedy managed to make the impossible possible. To take a juggernaut franchise like Star Wars and turn it into a shell of its former self. Where Star Wars fans that were once the biggest supporters and the biggest defenders of the franchise are now its biggest haters. And with each new project, like the Acolyte, or the Obi-Wan Kenobi show, or the Book of Boba Fett, or the Ahsoka show, or the sequel trilogy, they're gonna lose more and more fans. All of these shows were underwhelming to say the least. And big financial failures on top of that. We've reached a point where most Star Wars shows don't make it past one season, with at most 8 episodes. That's how bad it has gotten under the leadership of Kathleen Kennedy. And considering that she liked the Acolyte and blamed all the bad reviews on sexism and racism, it's not surprising that the quality of content has dropped so drastically. But Disney seems to be waking up and starting to interfere more recently. Now where their profits have begun to drop into the red area. But that took them long enough. After the show was cancelled due to low viewership, despite claiming that it's doing really well, Disney now removed all kinds of the Acolyte merchandise and branding connected to the show from the Disney store. Meaning all of those clothes that were added just a couple of months ago are already gone again. And they didn't say anything about them only releasing them for a limited time. They planned to sell them much longer, especially cause they expected it to do well and get more seasons. Seems like the show wasn't as popular and profitable as they claimed claimed it was. If it actually was, the merchandise would have been selling. And yet, it didn't. Star Wars makes most of its money through merchandise sales. So for a Star Wars show to fail to sell anything, that's gonna ring all of Disney's alarm bells. That was probably also a major reason as to why the show was cancelled. But to remove all kinds of merchandise off the show just a couple of weeks after it ended is pretty crazy. That didn't happen to any other of the shows yet, meaning the Acolyte must have been a total disaster in that area. Not surprising actually, cause who wants to run around with merch of Osha or Mei or any other of these boring characters? Every other show at least had a couple of characters that were likable or interesting or that people at least knew from other other projects. But Acolyte didn't have any of that. It was completely new, introduced a bunch of characters and yet not a single one of them gained a fan following. Cause that would have required good writing. And the show doesn't have that. And now Disney has to step in and in an act of damage control cancel the show and remove all of its merchandise. And fans online are posting videos of that, showcasing how everything Acolyte related is already gone from the Disney store. So as you can see, I am at the Disney store right here. There's an ad. Thank you. Uh, so I'm going to do a quick search. I'm going to search for the Echo Light. Search. Oh, as you can see, no results found for the Echo Light. Okay. So maybe I just can't spell. That's a possibility. We're going to just search for Star Wars. All right, so now we have 388 products found. That's a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of stuff to search through. So let's filter it, shall we? Let's filter it by the show. Star Wars. Now, as you can see here, this is every Star Wars show and movie. 
where merchandise is available. The Mandalorian, Rebels, Young Jedi, Rise of Skywalker, Force Awakens, The Bad Batch, Obi-Wan, etc. The Alkalite is not listed anywhere on here as a search parameter. All right, so now let's ignore that. Let's check out the character search. This is where you can search for merchandise uh, featuring your favorite characters. Princess Leia, Yoda. There is not one character from the Acolyte that is available as a search parameter. So much financial damage that Disney is taking here. And all of that is the fault of none other than Kathleen Kennedy. She makes irresponsible decisions, she's out of touch with the audience, spends way too much money on stuff no one wants, and causes huge damage financially to Disney and to the reputation of the Star Wars brand. Fortunately, YouTubers like myself, Critical Drinker, Star Wars Theory, etc. have had a visible effect on exposing her negative influence on the company to the public, and potentially to Disney themselves. And I will continue to do so as long as things don't get better. In a couple of months, we'll find out whether Kennedy stays at the company or whether she will be replaced with a new CEO. The entire fanbase hopes it's the latter, but the decision lies in the hands of herself and Bob Iger. But don't worry, I'll continue to keep you updated on how this develops. And I'm remaining confident that sooner or later, things will get better again. The reason I'm producing those videos is to make sure that happens. And I will continue doing so. But if you already made it that far into the video, why not leave a like and hit that subscribe button. And share the video if you want to spread the word. It would really mean a lot to me. So make sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter for updates as well. You'll find me under Nerion or by clicking the link in the video description. But with that said, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll hopefully see you again in the next one. Till then, take care.